everybody thinks it's terrible that I go out in the 22 degree wow. temperature and smoke a cigarette. Yeah. But I only smoke four or five or six a day. One after each cup of coffee, after my three meals, demands a cigarette. It's one of the few pleasures I have left in this life. Good for you. And I don't intend to give them up for anybody. Amen, sister. Yes. It's liable to stunt your growth. Huh? Liable to stunt your growth. <laughs> I've only been smoking 85 years now. I mean, since I was 13 in high school, when it was sophisticated for everybody to smoke. Ah. All my classmates, the doctors, the nurses, when you went in the hospital and had a baby, you had an ashtray as well as a bedpan, right? Oh! Just did you, don't get them mixed up. Did and you put your butts out in your... In your bedpan? Did you put the butts out in the bedpan? I mean, how'd that no, work out? You had an ashtray. That's because the doctors and nurses had to use that too. <laughs> oh, okay. See, and Do you remember what brand you smoked, started out smoking? Oh, Chesterfields, Lucky Strikes. The, you Camel. Huh? That was before filters, right? Oh, yeah. And then, and when you were a kid, you could, I didn't go, but you could go to the store and buy cigarettes for a penny a piece. The storekeeper earned, gained five cents on each a pack of cigarettes, selling them at a penny a piece. And kids bought cigarettes. Did they care how old you were? Was there an age limit? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no age limit in those days. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Land of the free. Anyway, this is my cigarettes in one pocket, and this is my ashtray that I carry around. So as not to contaminate the property. Is that the um, same ashtray that was used next to the bedpan? No, no, I had, you had plenty, and there are ashtrays all over the oh. place. Oh. Everybody smoked. Oh. But this way, I put my ashes in here, and I don't Very contaminate good. my little smoking porch. Do you plan on smoking for another 85 years? As long as I'm living and even the doctor will say to me, it's no use to tell you now to give them up. <laughs> After all, my lungs have lived through 85 years this month. Yeah. And I figure that the uh, nicotine has killed every bug or germ that tried to put me down. So I intend to smoke on my deathbed. So we you think about that, that is a, AMA? I believe that's a great medical discovery there. That, I you know, that I mean, too. maybe we should start kids out smoking when they're like two. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll all be, you know, we'll all live to 98. Anyway. <laughs> Plus. You'll destroy Social Security. Hold it, hold it. Care. I do believe we got something from the peanut gallery here. I think you're going to destroy Social Security and all pension plans if you get anybody to smoke and live forever. Oh, I thought you were going to say if we all ran for government. Office. No, oh, they okay. already destroyed it. I hear you. Turn that thing off. All right, signing off. Oh. See you, Blue. Wave goodbye. Okay, bye. -bye. All right.